Uh, ladies and gentlemen, this is Mampolo from Mampolo's Corner, Rene Maisa. Guys, uh, it is no longer a news that Nnam the Kano provoked yesterday. <laughs> uh, it's unfortunately that uh, they did not release him, they didn't grant his bill. Mm, they say one thing, one thing, they just say they can't grant him, he's still there, they are still fighting it. <laughs> uh, they could not release him. But the guy, they boil inside that place. Mm -hmm. they say, he said, he said that no, say if they release him. You see, you see all this insecurity one day for Southeast. He said two minutes. You know, if we say one hour. He said two minutes everywhere down silent. You said that no. Say now politics, then they use this uh, insecurity they do there. Say, say most of the political top, top leaders there, when they there, know what thing that they do. They are behind it. I say, ah. <laughs> uh, uh, let, let, let's hear that story first. Let's hear. <laughs> Watch video. And they know it very well. They know it very well. And I suspect that some people in government are complicit. They are making money with insecurity. That's yes, correct. They are making money with it. They know now the can is outside. In two minutes, this nonsense will stop. Who is the idiot? Who is the bagger? That will, that will speak what I'm talking Who is the fool? On oh, no, I think. Uh... If you ask me, I would have thought by now that this issue of Nam the Kano and all this, I thought it should have it should have been something that is over by now. To be honest, uh, you see this APC government, APC government. I thought that that was the number one thing they were even appraise uh, to have this kind of cordiality at least within Dibo. If that is the only thing they can they could do, mm. I thought that would have been one of the top priority as well of Tunubu. That Tunubu would have considered. Uh, releasing the guy, may go house, go rest. So that you have that kind of uh, closeness and ties with Igbo. So that at least this Igbo marginalization and Igbo unrest and unhappiness can quell a little bit. But what do I know? <laughs> it's up to him. Not me, are, I'm not his political advisor. <laughs> I'm not his political advisor. So uh, uh, this issue of Nam the country, you, you people have heard him now. He said two minutes. This insecurity issue in South East Igbo Quenchap. So, why would I know Kukuma release that for us? I don't know one made that they buy us there. Mm, but what do I know? It's all right. <laughs> but the other group of people, one and one advice, after I don't advise uh, federal government now, no advice I give on now. So, no, no advice I give on so now, but we don't know indirectly. <laughs> and our people, when they call uh, women, when one when, when marry, mm. some ladies that want to marry, uh, <laughs> you don't do 32 years. 32 years, you they, you they find uh, a boy want to come meet you. Why will come talk to you? <laughs> 35, you see, they wait for a boy want to talk to you. Mm, no go talk to boy. <laughs> you, are heading, you are heading to 40. You are still waiting. They do shakara. Uh, I carry one uh, reverend father. He won't come uh, advise you. One reverend father is coming to advise you now on Mount Polo's corner. If you like, here. If you like, you know, here. Now your problem. For those who do not understand what I'm talking about, Watch video. At 35 years of age, my dear sister, you are waiting for a man who will come and propose to you in the airport. 35 years. You are not ready. You are not ready. You are waiting for a man to come and propose to you. 35. You don't enter men who pause. What it means that men will pause. Men don't pause. Break the law. If you see this, I'm saying this, it may sound funny, but I'm very serious about it. If you're a young girl here, Marriage is your calling. You know you can be a good wife, a good mother. You desire it. You are 35. You happen to see any guy who is interested in you, but he does not have the courage. You know some guys like some ladies, but they don't have the courage. Eh? There are guys that they don't have the courage. You discover that this guy has shown signs of liking you, but he doesn't have the courage to speak to you. My dear sister, break that useless law. Approach that guy. Make it. Hey, stop laughing. I'm serious. Stop, stop, stop. No, you people should not interrupt until I finish this. Stop, stop. Break that useless convention. Meet the guy. Say, bro, I have noticed you look me somehow. I know you like me. You don't have the courage. The guy will mumushly be laughing and be not there, you know. Tell him I'll make it easy for you. Okay? Tell him your good qualities. I can cook. Mm. I will be a good wife. Two. I will not check your phone. Three. I will not give you a headache. Four. And I will be a good mother to our children. Five. Uh -huh. So if you want to propose, go ahead and propose. Or if, you, if you want me to propose, I will propose. Let's marry. <laughs> Why are you laughing? You think I'm, it's, it sounds funny, but I'm not, I'm not joking about it. Which law says only men must propose? 
Is it God's law or human? Which country's law is it? Which law says only men must propose? Tell me. There is no law that says a man must propose. And you are not a loose girl. Listen, you are not a loose girl. When you're under this kind of scenario, I see. You see somebody who likes it but doesn't have the courage and you do that to approach him and ask for marriage. You are not a loose girl. A loose girl is not the girl who takes the courage to break the convention to talk to a guy to marry her. A loose girl is the girl who will still be playing hard to get, but she's dating several men. That is the loose girl. Break the law. Nothing will happen, my dear. Nothing. And as I speak to you, there are many ladies who are happily married today. They were the ones who approached the guy who married them. Break the law. When there is opportunity, you are waiting for him to come and talk to you. Mm, if I talk to him, they will say I'm a loose girl. Now why can't they lose marriage? <laughs> and you want to marry. For those who really want to marry. He brought the law convention. There are many conventions you need to break. There are many conventions. There are some laws that are even gender discriminatory. It doesn't come from God. Society just put it for something. So sometimes it's working against the interests of particular people. Break the law. Law that is working against your interests. It doesn't even come from God. God does not make a law that is going to work against your interests in the final analysis. You break the law. You have to be stubborn like that leper, like Esther. When Esther entered the presence of the king, it was a law. If you enter the king's presence without sure. being scheduled for mm. or being invited by the king, you are going to die. Go and read that scripture, the book of Esther. When Esther came before the presence of the king, the Bible said he froze. He was looking like she was looking like what? Like a ghost. Because she knew the words. The consequences. But how would she have known that God is well, with her if he did not take the courage to break that law to save her people? Yes. There are times you break certain laws. Mm. Well, that's young. Mm, uh, single girls. Now, no, 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 I break that video for That was a good advice. If you want to listen, listen. If you say a man don't they give you green light and you won't marry and you like her, Baba, go. Go ahead. Stop doing that nonsense, ancient, ancient and modern, and modern thing. If you like somebody, go for them. That's why I like my Oyibo people. Yeah. If a white lady sees you, even in the bus, any place, and he loves you, he just come to you. I love you. I think I love you. Can we hang out? That's it. You just go with them. Simple. You just want to stress people. See, men of this day don't even want stress. They don't even like stress. Before you stress, they don't leave you. There are thousands and millions of them outside there. If you are stressing, you remain single. <laughs> Uh, we take on Sammy and you. Now, let me come to my people one day for abroad. One want send money. If we want send money, they, I don't know the rate when this tap tap they use now. The rate, you, you don't, the rate, you don't too much. The rate, you don't too much. Guys, download tap tap. Just use and send money. Put my promo code there. Money don't fool everywhere for, for Africa. <laughs> I don't want to talk too much. Just, just watch video. If you watch video finish, download tap tap. Use my promo code Mampolo. Send money. You're going to enjoy yourself. What video, guys? For most of you who always ask me, Man Polo, what is the best way? What is the best way to send money back home to Nigeria? I think I have reminded you people before, but I, I, I was I will still repeat it again here. The best way is tap tap send. The best platform and the best money transfer company. They are very quick, very reliable, very very reliable. No fee, everything free, <laughs> very high rate as well. You can choose to receive both in dollar and in naira, any one way you like. <laughs> now your choice. If you can't add my promo code MAMPOLO or capital letter, if you mistake the button, they add more money for you. <laughs> if you are if you are a first user, they will add more money for you. If you are in the UK, they'll add more five pounds. If you are in US, more ten dollars. If you are in Canada, more ten dollars. If you're any part of Europe, more five euros. <laughs> now, how do you download and begin to enjoy this platform? <laughs> to be sending your money with Woto. How do you do that? Okay, <laughs> let's watch the video now. Enjoy. Up top send go Up top send easy way Up top send yeah Up top send easy way You don't hear them before Up top send easy way You want to send the money Up top send easy way From USA to Nigeria Up top send easy way Don't stress no network failure Up top send easy way From Canada to Nigeria Up top send easy way From UK to Nigeria Up top send easy way Ain't no the only moment Up top send easy way with tap tap send oh yeah yeah tap tap send easy way you all over the world tap tap send oh yeah oh yeah tap it tap it tap tap send tap tap send tap tap send easy one no tap tap send tap tap send money send na so you 
na the era. No worry yourself again. Tap tap send then your back get it back. No stress, no delay. Tap tap send na him do bungi hapo. Where you feel you send your money from where you day to anywhere in the world. <laughs> now tap tap send do so they don't do it. Send the money to Nigeria. It's as easy as ABC. Oya waka go your Play Store or Apple Store to download tap tap send for proper registration. My brother, my sister, we tap tap send. Send more, spend less. Did you see the video? So now, if you are in the UK, if you are in Canada, America, any part of any part of Europe, or say so, quick, quick, go to your app store now if you have not downloaded. Mm. Don't allow people to rip you off. Other people that will be telling you, oh, you need five pound fee for hundred pound, for hundred euro, for hundred dollar. You need to pay five pound. You need to five, pay five euro. You need to pay five dollar. We don't do it in tap tap send. We don't do it. Just download and send for free. And their rate is out of this world. Mm. They are. They don't have any equal. They are. They are not. They are not in competition with anybody when it comes to that one. They are too good. Just download and be sending money with with with. Don't forget my promo code, Mampolo. You will be fine. Now, I start me to one video when I see Jerry is a wife. Mm. <laughs> Jerry is a wife. I think now the first time when they come to Mount Polo's corner. I analyze things, so now it be my work. Mm. <laughs> I don't got a problem with you. You see, since your husband have been doing what God cannot do, does not exist. Okay. And I always support him because I like me, I like prayers. And I like what he's been doing. He's a hardworking person. I even might imagine how that guy wakes up every morning and keep praying every morning. No one day when he miss him. That guy is a hero. He's a strong man. <laughs> so if you do good things, they praise you. <laughs> but he's got one place where you they give testimony. Say, before, before, you they disobey your husband. You they fight your husband. And now, now, oh, he's your king. He's my love. He's my number one. I will respect you till I buy. You are my only all. all. Ah, uh, madam, madam, calm down, calm down. We understand all those things. Uh. <laughs> You see how those things you are doing now? The, the love is sweet now and shark, and you are not respecting like the you are respecting God. Ah, it's because it's because the guy don't make him. Mm. If you be say if you be say nobody fit tell you me, I go tell you. If that guy were to be poor, maybe we go down divorce since. Mm, let me talk him. <laughs> because the way when I they hear the story, said the way you want you to torture the guy before when not, when it not be any anything. The way when they disrespect him, the way when you they disobedient. The way they want you they, when they get impunity for the house. The way when you know you can call anything because you say no government, you never make at that time. I say if he if he, if he was going down, down, down and poor and poor and poorer, maybe if not if not they even marry him now. Money, money get power. <laughs> Guy, if you be a man, you never make money, go make money. Oh. Mm. If you want, if you want full respect for your house, for your house. From your wife, from your children, from anybody around you. Papa, go and make money. Money is good. Uh, <laughs> all this one, this woman is confessing here, giving testimony and testimony to me. I might be wrong, oh. In fact, take, I'm, take, take it that I'm wrong. In fact, I'm wrong. Mm, I'm wrong. But for me, whether you think it's wrong or right, it doesn't change my stand. Yeah. My own stand is that it's because this guy have made it. He's now a multi billionaire. <laughs> you know how much money they make every morning alone? <laughs> Are you normal? Every morning offering, you know how much? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Which woman will not be lawyer at this time? Uh, so it's because the guy, guy has made it. That is why the wife, Mrs. Jerese, I don't know what you are in name. Mm. That's why you are now lawyer and humble. And you are worshipping him as your king. Now, he's not, now you know saying I are king, my, my your lord. For those who never see that video, all right now, watch video. There was a time in our marriage I gave a lot of trouble. Mm. And um, there was a light that left papa's eyes but you know getting to see this light again when he sees me he lights up oh my god sorry so it's it's nice to just see that that the light is back you know so um and i celebrate god for you know taking us this far all of me celebrates you wow mm. all of me wow Thanks you. Money don't come. All of me loves you. Hard work, wow. please. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. I, let me finish loving you. <laughs> I, I, I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. When I'm done loving, I start loving again, and I will continue to love you. Thank Too much money. You are the best thing that has happened to me. Uh, yes. I love you, sir. Thank you. The lights. Love you. Love you. <laughs> 
Now, so that is women, oh. some, of, some of them, or many of them. <laughs> now, many of the women, and I, they say, so if you know make her, you see, I love you, I love you, David, love you, I don't love you. Bible, no, they change her. <laughs> Bible, no, go change her. You go see, I hate you, I love you, I dislike you, I, 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 I forbid the day I met you, you go to hear negative things. <laughs> Now, money is everywhere. He's one of the richest Nigerian pastor now. You don't know. As a matter of fact, he's one of the richest pastor in Africa now. Uh, he works for it too. I'm not even him. I'm not saying it's bad to be rich. I love his riches. Don't get it twisted. He works for it, waking up every morning. That guy has worked hard. Uh, I know the pastor want to be saying, if you work hard, you make him. I got the envy you. I don't have problem with that. <laughs> but you see all this love, 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 eh? love, 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 this woman would have been giving trouble. If this guy now fall down back to poor man, the trouble will resume because you know your body. I don't want to talk too much. Me, I they tell you the way it is. I know they fear you. If you love you, are doing here. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Follow me on Facebook and Instagram and Twitter, even on TikTok. All of my personal love, guys. Peace out.